Scientists really haven't been sure if masks are effective, but studies out there show that they really could help. In fact, in one study published in the International Journal of Infectious Diseases, families with kids who had flu-like symptoms who used the masks properly were 80% less likely to be diagnosed with the same thing. And get this, the difference between types of masks didn't matter. Another study looked at 400 people who had the flu, found that family members who wore a surgical mask and washed their hands reduced their chance of getting the flu by 70%. The current thought by a local expert at the UW is that it doesn't really matter what kind of mask, but again, they do seem effective. Individual brands of masks and that sort of thing hasn't been studied. The, the, the few studies that have looked at them, so they do have an effect. Um, in some studies, up to 50 to 80 percent um, reduction in transmission. Um, you know, they seem to stop large droplets. And the other thing I think that's key to mention with masks is that uh, it really depends on what you're willing to wear. You can buy face masks or respirators. The N95 respirators tend to block those smaller particles, and it might be something to consider whether you're sick or whether you don't want to get sick, especially if you're traveling. Dr. Greninger, who we just heard from, mentioned that we've had at least seven international flights with coronavirus on board, and we, as people in general, travel more internationally than ever before. And while the masks do seem promising, of course, it's always good to continue proper hand washing and just other preventative measures as well. And health experts say, now is the time to get the flu shot if you haven't done so already. Back to you.